Got potatoes boiling. We're getting ready to saute some onions for gravy. I'm cheating a little bit. I'm gonna turn it on high first. Hope y'all can see that. One cup of cold water. Okay, I got you. But we're gonna, see that thing's fast. It's, it's going already. This is awesome. We're gonna saute these onions. Get them good and tender. Go ahead and get those puppies coated real good with black pepper. And a little bit of kosher salt. And it's smelling good already. Put a little bit of, a little more kosher salt in that. If you can squeeze them with your tongs, you know they're good. Look at this. Yeah, they're good. Let's turn them off. I don't want to overdo them because we're going to make mashed potatoes on them. She's off. Let's try one. And let's just see if they're done all the way through. I'm pretty sure they are. They're hot. I don't want to put it in there. Oh yeah, they're done. They are well done. I can't stand to have a dirty stove while I'm cooking. You gotta clean the stove as we go. Let me turn it down a little bit because it's gonna start burning. So we're at five. Right there, five, half. Medium heat. I wish we had smell of vision Maybe YouTube can figure that out. Google, you need to figure that out. You'll have something then. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Smells good in here. Let's see if I can do this without having a tragedy. Y'all think I can do this without a tragedy? Yeah, I believe I can do it without a tragedy. They're hot. I'm getting steamed up. Just like that. Put them back on the eye and turn it on a little bit and dry it up. These onions are getting ripe. I think I forgot to mention what we're gonna cook here. We're making, we're gonna make gravy, you know, no recipe, you just get it in a bag, chicken gravy. <laughs> but I'm adding onions to it, so we're kind of doing our own thing. So I'm gonna make the gravy in here, then we're gonna have country fried steak, or as people in the South would call it, country style steak. Basically, this right here, gonna take you cube the steak, whatever pieces of meat they got, and they run it through this machine that just sever it. Well, it just tender, well, they really don't tenderize the meat. It just kind of chops the meat up, but it's still one piece of meat. So that's cubed, boneless beef cube steak. And then, then we're gonna turn this into country style steak. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some flour in here. I'm gonna get me an egg wash. I'm gonna wash them in egg. And I'll use, I'm also gonna use some breadcrumbs and we're gonna fry them up and that's called country fried steak, country style steak, whatever you wanna call it, but it's something good. Mm -mm -mm. And then we're gonna have the mashed potatoes and we're gonna have the potatoes, mashed potatoes and gravy with the onions and pour over top of that. Woo, what you talking about? That's something so good. Mm. Woo. And I even got some of this, uh, can y'all see this right here? Yeah. Angus Barn steak season. Angus Barn, if you know, there you have it. That's what, that's what we're making tonight. So stick with me, hang around and watch me get this cube steak going right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take some butter. I'm gonna throw some butter in them potatoes. Where was I? Gotta do the gravy, doing mashed potatoes, garlic. Costco special. Let's see, how much garlic we're gonna put in this? Uh, let's see. Mm, that's enough garlic. Put over how much garlic you want to in those potatoes. If you want them garlicky, you see those potatoes? Let's do a little more garlic. Mm, yeah, that's good. You want some real milk. The refrigerator's a mess. YouTube, this is going to become a YouTube sensation. And just go ahead and put you some milk in there. Regular table salt right here. And you don't want to put too much. You just want, can y'all see that? Because potatoes without salt don't taste like nothing. That's enough salt right there. You don't want to overdo salt. You can kill a recipe with too much salt. Pepper, you can put more pepper in there, but let's do the pepper like that right there. Pepper's good. So we got garlic, we got butter, we got pepper. These are our nice pans here. These are our Ninja Foodie pans that I do not want to scrape them with a metal utensil. The onions are done. So let's go ahead and turn these onions off for the, main, for the meantime. 
they are they are perfect let me grab one of these right here let's see what we got oh my goodness mm -mm -mm -mm. you know what i can just about mash these potatoes right here with this uh teflon spoon <sighs> can you see that look look right there <sighs> Ooh -wee. what you talking about i'm all over the place this stove look at that they are looking good look at that oh man look at them mashed potatoes boy open that bad boy up and throw it in there no recipe needed here just throw it right on top of the money it smells good and as the bag says one cup of cold water that's all you need put it right in there like that all right we're done with that perfect we got to stir this up and incorporate this and, and reduce this it's all about reducing we're going to reduce it to a nice thick gravy stirring occasionally you start seeing it boil go ahead and get it on and turn it down that's all you need to do you can see the nice thing about an induction cooktop it happens very fast that's why i love an, an induction cooktop look at there oh boy Woo! what you talking about mm -mm 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 -mm. we're gonna turn it on about two and just let that do its lovely thing it smells incredible in this kitchen y'all are gonna hate these mashed potatoes <laughs> mm. They're gonna hate them. Those mashed potatoes taste terrible. With the gravy, it's just gonna taste even worse. Let's go and get the peas on here. We're gonna do mashed potatoes and gravy with onions, country style steak, peas. I think that's gonna cover us. Let's go and get that in there. But I think one can's gonna be enough. Them youngest don't eat peas. No, excuse me, petting the dog and cooking. Look, <laughs> dog hair comes with it. That's terrible, y'all. I'm just gonna tell you right now. No sanitary situations in this house. Y'all comment down below and let me know if you got dogs, how that works out. <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad. All right, look at that. Here comes the main course, the finale. The finale of this cooking video is gonna be the country style steaks. We didn't do that. And no, I cannot crack the egg with one hand, and I do get my shell sometimes in my eggs, but I got it. All right, so I might need another egg. And then breadcrumbs. Throw them all in there. There ain't much in there, no how. They're gone. All right, we're gonna wash this cube steak and eggs. And watch this, y'all. You just take this right here, throw it right in there like that. And you shake and bake. Oh yeah, we're, we're definitely turned down a little bit now. Put it in like that. And let her rip, tater chip. Gotta make sure this corner is flat. Just like that. And if you start to see this thing frying real quick, go ahead and turn it on down. We wanna do a slow fry. We don't wanna, we don't wanna fry it fast. Get you another piece, throw it on in there. Cover it real good with your flour and breadcrumbs. And go ahead and throw that one in there as well. Just like that right beside it. It's got a, got a family member now. And we're gonna leave that right where it's at. We're gonna put some of this steak seasoning on here. Pepper, where's my pepper? Right here. Put some pepper on that and let that cook. That's all there is to it, guys. It looks good. Get it good and browned up. Get it good and brown. Perfect, look at that. Oh my God. Woo! Oh, that looks so good. That's the finished product. We're gonna dig into this and uh, we're gonna see how we did. All right, guys, here we go. It smells good, it looks so good. Yeah, check that out, look at that right there. Country style steak. Mm. Gravy, onions, it is so good. If y'all stuck with me this far into the video, I really appreciate it. Please 
hit that like button and please subscribe. Thank you so much.